$12 million coming in. There's something called Section 108 loans that City of Buffalo guarantees for an individual who might want a loan for the government, uh, may have bad credit, and they need a cosign, so City of Buffalo cosigns. When a company goes out of business or move or fall behind in a the payment, then the City of Buffalo has to make those payments up. So if the federal government does, it allocates $12 million a year, but if $3 million has been not paid back in loans from these individual companies, uh, then the city has to re uh, reimburse the federal government that $12 million. So $12 million might go down to $9 million. I believe that it could be better spent if you would just designate the money for it's being uh, allocated for, and that's to relieve poverty and blight. If you get a 37% poverty level in the city of Buffalo, if you look at children rate that is 50%, then the money obviously has not been spilled, uh, spent to relieve or reduce poverty and blight. So the most needy street might not get done because there's a lot of political favors and, and uh, the mayor needs councilmanic votes so he fixes uh, streets. Those council members indicate that needs to be fixed. So what I would do is take one year, like the Fillmore District, and I would uh, designate the bigger proportion at $9 million for that area. With $9 million, $8 million, you can fix a whole lot of sidewalk, pave a whole lot of street, open a whole lot of vacant stores, and make sure that people who have been waiting three years to get their roof replaced or their, their homes fixed or, or new furnished be able to do that. Uh, we have tenant, with the uh, uh, BMHA, if you look at public housing, they have a board that's uh, five members appointed by the mayor and two have been appointed by uh, election by the tenants. And so the tenant, uh, the uh, tenant representative, they have a close relationship. They attend meetings more often, so they could be the voice and the uh, connection, uh, connection between the other board members who many are in, in these positions because of patronage or political favoritism that they could bring a concern to the community. Uh, I don't believe that a county legislator should be taking calls from a tenant of a public housing who has a problem and has had for three years a mold being in a household has not had it rectified. The Board of Commissioner nor the Executive, Executive Director are fixing these problems. I believe there's um, some kind of uh, lapse in, in, in service or maybe some disconnection between the tenant council representative and the community that he serves and represents. So I, I, I believe uh, those monthly meetings that they have in every public housing complex should be, the mayor should be there. And the mayor should send a representative in addition to who he appoints on the board. Because um, we have responsibility to give a good quality of life to all. Everyone is entitled to have a good place to live, adequate uh, education, and um, public, uh, good, safe streets and neighborhoods to live in. And some parts of Buffalo, that's easy to accomplish. Other parts, it takes a little more work and a little bit more money. That money should be designated for this area. So if we talk about using black rent money allocated for a district per year, I will start with the poorest district and work myself up to the least poor one. Communities have a connection to the police department. Uh, if we have community police officers, we have them living in the community, like they used to have so many years ago, that individual will see that police officer with gain respect. That police officer can be a mentor, a basketball coach, football coach, maybe to help that youth who might uh, have no positive role model in his household. Maybe he could be able to uh, be a more productive citizen by having that interaction be a law enforcement, and he would gain a uh, uh, conclusion or an indication that police officers are not there to wreak havoc. They're there to protect you and to serve. And you don't have to be a fearful of a police officer if you do the right thing. And by the same token, police officers need to respect the dignity of all.